Congratulations, you've made it thus far to magic. And now, to the next stage. The stage where you step into that circle and empower those angels to take care of your four corners, to watch your back and to cleanse your circle where you can allow anything to come into it and only you can decide. Okay, we will start with the fourfold breath and then we will draw on the light energy from above to below using the QC rite or the Sword of Deliverance. Um, the angels we'll be connecting with will be Raphael in the east representing air. He will come in the color of yellow um, representing the intellect, new thought, spring. In the south we'll be uh, encountering Michael. Archangel Michael, he'll come with a sword, he'll be in red, he'll be representing fire in the summer. Courage, strength and protection will come from his corner. In the west we have Gabriel representing love, the colour blue, autumn, the west, the psyche, the emotions, the emotional intelligence. And in the north we have Uriel, green, representing the earth. And material objects. She will come with a shaft of wheat and barley representing the material end of things and material intelligence. So um, the angels will have EL termination on their ending which means of God. So we're tapping into God intelligence, divine source intelligence for help in a ritual. So let's do it. A couple of pointers. Some schools of thought, some uh, schools of magic um, perform this ritual in a slight variation of their own way, which is fine. Um, our way is more or less to keep it flowing and as balanced as possible. Um, when you see the spelling of the Hebrew words and the God names, for example, sometimes the pronunciation doesn't match the spelling. So look out for that a little bit. Uh, for example, um, when intoning Yod He Bao He, you can say Yod He Bao He, perfectly fine. You might hear us saying Yod He Bao He instead. Small variations like that. Um, the sign of silence is very important. When you're drawing the pentagram, you must be in a firm, sort of straight position. Arm, left arm straight along your side and kept there. Very important, a bit like Irish dancing. Um, so when you penetrate the pentagram, you step forward in your penetration. 
And when you step, step forward, the pentagram should burst into its blue flame if you're doing the lesser banishing ritual of the pentagram. And then when you step back, you stamp your foot to lock in the energy, and then you do the sign of silence, which is literally putting your finger over your lips. This stops any excess weight of energy from coming towards you. So it keeps it all there outside you. Okay, just so remember that. Pleasure for all, pleasure for all, Leola. 